Hi, my name is Jerry Frank and I'm co-founder and CEO of Asset Rover. And we are here today because we are starting a series of interviews on the team that you need to assemble as a new investor. And I'm here today with Andy Petzold, who is a broker owner at Pro Epic Property Management. Hi, Andy. Hello. How are you today? Good, thanks. You? Wonderful. Okay, so I wanted to ask you a few questions about your business, and the first thing I wanted to find out a little bit more about is just tell me a little bit about your business, how long you've been in business for, and what do you do? Okay, Epic Property Management has been in business for um, five years as a, as a publicly available uh, property management service. We offered uh, management services as a private group for many years before that. Um, so. My team has been managing properties uh, a little more than 12 years total. Epic offers management services for residential uh, properties. People have, have purchased as an investment, uh, single family or multi-unit apartment buildings. We, we handle about, uh, right now we do about 80% single family homes, uh, but it's based on the portfolio, whatever the investors bring to us, uh, we, let, we manage apartment buildings as large as uh, 120 units. And so what drew you to property management, you, per you personally? Me personally, I've always looked at real estate as um, one of the vehicles for investment that I felt the most comfortable with. Um, I like the idea of a tangible object. I can invest in something I can, I can drive by, I can look at, mm -hmm. something I can get my hands on and do repairs. Um, so I think of all the different ways that someone can invest their money. Uh, I think that real estate is, is a unique in, in what it offers both for the investor and then also what you can offer back to the community as part of your investment, as you know, making housing available for people who are looking for, um, have a need that you can fill with your rentals. So when an investor is out there trying to find a property manager, what should that person be asking when they're looking for a property manager? I think it's very important for you to spend that time getting to know each of those property managers so that you can look at, uh, you can get to know them and know what their philosophy is and mm -hmm. see how they feel about what they do. Mm -hmm. um, they're going to be representing your properties to potential tenants. It's important that they look at investing like you do, mm -hmm. whatever that is, uh, that they know your goals and that you're comfortable that they'll be able to handle and execute your goals. It's, it's, I don't think people spend enough time evaluating what who they're going to use for their management, uh, and then mm -hmm. have a maybe have a negative result because they, they didn't they didn't spend the time they they, they maybe should have. Right. Uh, really get to know who's going to be in charge of what what is a sizable financial investment. So, do you have any words of advice that you would give to a new investor who's just getting started? Yeah, I think that uh, the the golden rule for real estate and for probably for any investment is to plan for the worst case scenario. Plan for everything to go wrong um, and be patient enough to know that what you're getting into is the right move. Um, there will always be another deal. There's always another house coming on the market. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and sometimes, especially when it's your first one or, or it's your, your second one, you get so caught up in that this is my deal that you forget that maybe it's not. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe it's not your deal and you just have to be willing to be patient enough to say... I'll wait for the next one, mm -hmm. the right one. So don't get up, don't get caught up in the emotions of it. Just watch the numbers. Yes, definitely. It's very easy. To, it's, you should be excited about investing, but uh, when when it's new, it's very easy to get caught up in the the process and forget that it's really about the numbers. Um, work it backwards and make sure that you're buying it for the right price. And if you're not, walk away. Mm -hmm. It's okay to walk away. Are there any? Per any potential pitfalls and experiences you have seen with investments or investors in the past? I have seen um, a number of scenarios where uh, investors, like I said, get too caught up into one aspect of, of the entire process. I think that's where a good property manager will come in and help provide that, that larger view. Sometimes uh, an investor will get so focused on their properties that they forget to see some different sides of, of the entire process that they're working through. Uh, I think a good a service a good property manager can provide is to come alongside the investor and say, um, 
I we, we know each other's goals. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've, we've moved on past that point, and now here's how I can take you from where you are to where you want to be, mm-hmm. and we make a plan together so that um, your manager is handling your day-to-day, and as an investor, you're focusing on the goals mm-hmm. of your investment. So do you have any thoughts on investing in the Cedar Rapids area, um, the Cedar Rapids Iowa corridor right now? What, what do you think is is the potential there? I think it's a great time. Um, and I know that, that, you know, when you're in real estate, it's always a great time. <laughs> but it, I really do believe it is right now. Uh, we're, we're through the period, um, you know, the financial turmoil we've been through a couple of years ago. We're, I think we're through that. And traditionally, this area does very well. Uh, we have a good combination of um, land value helps to keep development uh, under control. We don't have huge expansions of, of development unless the demand justifies it. So the prices stay very steady. Mm-hmm. I think nationally, if you look at what happens in different markets, I think our market is very, very predictable. We're, we're the, the tortoise, slow and steady, uh, and we, we just do nice um, progress every year as far as uh, property values go, as far as um, different economic influences. We, we've traditionally been a great very steady place to, to do investing. And I, I think um, it's a great time right now to do that. Yeah. How I want to go back and unpack one of the things that you mentioned before, that you said you were a full-service property manager. What does that mean to me as someone who's looking for services? What does that, what do, what does that come with? Yeah. Uh, so typically, uh, um, a new investor, when you talk, or when you talk to, when a new investor tells uh, his or her friends, I'm going to invest in real estate, the first thing that they all say is, uh, so that means at 3 a.m. you're unclogging someone else's toilet. Um, a property manager takes care of that. <laughs> we do provide a lot more, but that's probably the first question: is will right. you will you take care of that for me? And certainly we will. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think larger than that, though, it really is about, and what we provide is uh, an end-to-end service. Uh, a property manager should be able to step in from day one, begin advertising for you, begin the, the marketing process of that property. Uh, attracting tenants that are well qualified and, and a good suit mm-hmm. for whatever your rental is and then work the tenants through the process to make sure that they've been screened properly um, all of the documentation is in place their lease is in place and, and then do a check-in on the property and then also to make sure that while they're occupying your investment mm-hmm. uh, that they're they're treating it with respect and taking care of the property that their their needs are also being met to make sure that your Fulfilling your duties as an investor, um, all the all the while fulfilling fair housing rules, make sure that everyone's taken care of as far as state and federal regulations are required. And then when things go well, a lease comes to its end, the tenants decide to move on. A good property manager will help with the exit of that tenant on you know, up and out of the property, so that the deposits are handled correctly and that uh, the property is returned to a rentable condition right away um, when things go bad the the property management company is there to handle evictions to handle um, significant damage when when necessary is documented uh, a property management company is it knows the right steps to get ready to begin for an eviction but also to begin the process of helping defend your investment against hmm. c- continued loss uh, and also maybe to, to be able to collect Damages, if if necessary, from the tenant. If deposits don't go far enough, mm-hmm. sometimes a um, small claim suit is in, in order, and, and most management companies can handle that for you as well. Hmm. So, can you tell me a little bit more about the process for selecting a, a tenant for a property? Yeah, uh, it begins with um, the tenants contacting, interested in the property, and. They should go through a series of vetting steps. Different different management companies will have different steps. It's important as an investor to know what your company does to screen those tenants. Um, a good company will have several things in place. Uh, we do uh, a national criminal background check. We do um, a full credit check with a credit score. Uh, and you're looking for indicators in their history that they may not be financially in a good place to be able to afford what they're looking for. You want to make sure that their income matches with what their rent payments will be. Mm-hmm. Um, along with the criminal lines, you want to make sure that you're not placing someone in a, in a rental that would have a potential for criminal activity in a property. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
What about the lease, the lease itself? What kind of process do you go through for that? Uh, it's very important uh, in two things that, uh, with a lease. First would be that, that the leases are updated. Uh, here at Epic, we spend thousands of dollars a year making sure that our lease is is up to date with, with current law. Uh, that's also up to date with anything that, that may have occurred that we didn't have before. Mm-hmm. You should be reviewing that lease, and a, and a good company has a living document. That lease gets updated anytime that there's a, there's a new um, change that arises, mm-hmm. that lease is, is being updated to address what's what's current. Right. Um, and the second part would be, it's important that the, the tenants understand the lease. So we're, we're signing them up with a, with a contract, and it's important that we not just get them to sign it, but that the tenants understand the expectations that uh, the landlord manage, come up, management company and the investor have uh, expectations of the tenant. It's important to have that foundation, I think. And So we go through the leases with our tenants and we take the time to, to read through the lease with them, answer any questions they have. Uh, and we have found that it, it has made it much easier. When problems arise, we both sit back down with the lease and go through it and we say, and we look at it and we say, if there's a problem, here's where the problem is and here's what we need to do to correct it. And if the tenants can do that, um, you know, we, things become a lot better. But a management company should be able to provide that to you. Not only do we have the document, but also we're able to go through it with tenants and, and really make sure that we've prepared for prepared for the worst case scenario, but, but hope for the best. Right. How about setting a rent for a particular property? Is there a process that you use or, or give guidance to for, for your clients? There are. Uh, for the owners that we manage for, we provide an analysis of the property, a, a market analysis mm-hmm. on what rent rates are, what we think um, both what, what we think the property would rent for in its current condition, and if there's anything that an owner can do to increase the rent or increase increase the attractiveness of that property mm-hmm. in that price range. We like to provide that feedback so that an owner can have a have a second opinion on uh, do I change this or do I not? I've I've had owners that spend too much money, and I've told them. You don't need to do that today. Let's save that money because down the road, there's going to be something else we're going to do. Uh, and I think that owners appreciate that kind of a feedback because it, every dollar counts. Mm-hmm. And so let's work together to spend it as efficiently as possible so that it goes the furthest. How about, uh, do you see trends with, with people that don't use property managers and, and the rents that they establish? Generally, uh, I see that the rents that are charged by um, individual operators tend to tend to be all over the board, um, but generally they're low. Uh, what we have found is that um, many times when we take over management management of a property, um, the the amount that we charge as a management fee, which is based on the, the rents collected in our case, mm-hmm. um, generally we can we can actually collect a little bit more rent for them. So the difference in our cost versus what they were losing because they didn't know they could charge a little more, um, we're able to, to usually account for our fee just by what we're able to do for them as far as, as increased rents or lowered maintenance costs by, by providing the, some of the other services we offer that, that they're going and finding on their own. Right. So do you have any final thoughts that you want to share with our viewers? I would say, if anything uh, that I could that I could express to the viewers would be, um, it's it, each piece of this process you're going through as, as and looking at your team for as an investor looking for your team. Um, it's important to know to know the people you're working with. It's important. It's okay to go and interview a property manager. We we have I have a lot of people come and interview me. Uh, <laughs> not always like this, but uh, I have a lot of people that will interview me to get to know who I am and who we are as a management company. And I think that's a great thing. Uh, a lot of people will apologize for spending, you know, for, for taking my time up. But it, to me, it's important that I know who you are. If I'm going to work for you as your property manager, I want to know who I'm working for. Um, likewise, I, I, I would expect that you want to know who I am and, and who my team is and what we do so that you're comfortable because you're, you're ultimately you're going to put me in charge of, of a, a, a pretty large investment, and I think it's okay to take your time and, and get to know every member of your team. Okay, thank you so much, Andy. I appreciate it. Thank you.